Hello everybody in the US. Hope all is well with you. I just wanted to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. As most of you know, I'm here as a student missionary in Indonesia and uh, we don't serve, we don't uh, celebrate Thanksgiving over here. Uh, and it, it's all right, it's all right. Uh, we, we celebrate New Year's though, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so as you can see out here behind me, I'm in this guest house here and I want to show you guys what the weather's like right now. Looking kind of gray, looking kind of gray. The rainy season is just uh, right around the corner. We already started seeing some of, some of the rain from that recently. Uh, the last week or so it's been raining over here. Um, and so yeah, I wanted to wish everyone a uh, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, and I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, some things that have been on my mind here in Indonesia, some things I've learned. Um, so I've been, this is month number four, month number four. Uh, and I gotta tell you that I've, been in, I've enjoyed every moment of it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, and uh, so when, when, you, when I think about Thanksgiving um, and you know what that what that's all about the, the popular question is you know what are you thankful for what are you thankful for so uh, I guess I can answer that question uh, and that question my answer right now for that question is that I'm thankful to be here to be here in Indonesia uh, teaching English to uh, the students here it's been a wonderful experience and uh, I'm just you know, looking forward to the next few months that are that are here. Uh, I know I'm going to miss this place when I leave. I already know that. Uh, and uh, one thing that I've learned, though, one thing that I've learned, because here in Indonesia, uh, it, it is it, it, it's a, a a lot different than the United States. Um, but uh, one insight that I've learned is uh, regarding people, the value of people. Um, in the United States, you see uh, there's, there's places in the United States where there is poverty, you know, uh, and there's certain places that, you know, you know that that place is, is more impoverished. Uh, and then some other places that are more uh, better in terms of, uh, in terms of their uh, overall well-being. They have houses and stuff like that. It's just a, a more nicer neighborhood. Uh, but in Indonesia, they don't have it. They don't have that. So you can walk down the street and you can be amazed by just this fabulous architectural structure—a house or whatever it is, a mosque, anything—and and you could just be like, "Wow!" And then you could just walk like right next door, and you can see a, a makeshift like shelter, and it's like, I mean. I, some of the times, you know, that those are just places that people work at. You know, they just build it right there next to them. Um, but some of the places that you see, there people live in these places around uh, Indonesia. So I've seen the the poverty, and I've seen the the uh, the wealth here in Indonesia. Um, and it's not as drastic. I mean, rather, rather, it is more more a drastic contrast here than in America. And uh, so that has kind of opened up my eyes. And I, I've come to the realization about people though, that it, it, I've deepened this realization that people are worth the same. People have the same value, whether they're rich, whether they're poor, whether they're a different race or gender, whatever it is, whatever differences there are between people, we are all the, both the same value. Um, and let me, let, me, let me further that, because uh, I'm coming from a more uh, religious background. I mean, I see that the Bible does say God cares for everybody the same, you know, the, the rich or the poor, uh, no matter what, God cares about them. Uh, and he'll actually even uh, raise up a poor person to achieve their dreams and to be successful and to do good things in the world. Um, and so coming from that perspective, I've deepened in that realization that truly people are the same value. Sometimes we put on a mask 
or, or it's easy rather when, when we're not impoverished or, or, or doing bad in terms of uh, how we're doing, we have enough clothing and whatnot. Um, it's easy to kind of have a, a mask or to be blind to the poor. But I want to uh, appeal to you to always remember the poor people. Remember the poor people. Whatever you, wherever you go, whatever you do, uh, wh you know, whether, it, whether you remember them in, through donation to a uh, recognized um, charity or fund, or if you just, you're, on a, you're gonna do some mission work in your community, helping the homeless or something like that, Remember the poor. That, that that's one thing that that will stick with me. Uh, I think uh, for the rest of my life, just to remember those people that that are easily uh, that we can so easily forget. Uh, and so even even today, Thanksgiving Day, uh, it's a wonderful day to to remember those who don't have and to be someone that can provide something to to brighten up their lives, uh, give them some hope. Hope, hope, hope. That's the key. So I'm, uh, I'm very excited. I'm, I'm really uh, just sitting back here and, and enjoying this, this, this experience in Indonesia. Uh, I hope all is well with you guys in the U.S., family, friends, uh, those of you who are just following my vlogs. Um, that's cool, too, you know. 